Welcome to Glamour Island Dolls. Today we are making a miniature glam room for our dolls. We are so glad you could join us. If you love doll miniature crafts and animations, you'll love our channel. Please like and subscribe. Now, let's start by making the walls. I have four canvas panels from the Dollar Tree that are 11 by 14 inches. In this video, I will show you two methods you could use to join the panels. We can use computer paper for the first method. Let's cut two inch strips of paper and then glue it to the middle of the two panels. Turn it over and glue more strips. As you can see, the two panels are joined together and can bend to make one corner of our room. Next, I'll show you the second method by using duct tape to join the panels. Like before, place the duct tape in the middle, turn it over, and be sure to form a corner first. Then apply the duct tape. When comparing the two methods, I prefer the duct tape. It gives the panels more flexibility and doesn't tear easily like the paper method. And I'm not very concerned about the red duct tape because I'm going to use cardstock and one inch poster board to cover the area. You can also use white duct tape to help everything blend well. Let's make the flooring by covering a foam board with this contact paper I got at the Dollar Tree. Now that we have the walls, it's time to glam it up. We're going to make an accent wall. First, we measure and cut 14 by 11 inch piece of foam board. Next, we measure and cut two 14 by one and a half inch pieces of foam board and glue the small pieces to the right and left of the larger piece. Then we cover it with cardstock. To help it stand up, we will measure and glue a piece of foam board in the middle. Then we place it in the room and see how it looks. I bought this pack of adhesive rhinestones at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut one strip of rhinestones and cover this area here. Then repeat on the other side. Now let's focus on the windows. Let's cut two four by six inch rectangles from poster board. And I'm going to do a search on Google for a garden scene that I like, print it, glue it, and then glue a piece of four by six clear plastic on top. Next, we're going to cut two thin six inch pieces and two thin four inch poster board pieces for the inside frame. Then we're also going to cut four thick six inch pieces of poster board and four thick four inch pieces of poster board for the outside frame. And glue the windows to the wall. Now let's make the curtains. We will measure and cut poster board for the valance. Then we cut the foam and the metallic gold fabric. Let's glue the foam to the poster board turn it over and glue the fabric to the poster board. Use a needle and thread to tuft it. Silicone molds are wonderful. I use the silicone mold and my glue gun to make the curtain rods. Then I painted them gold. Next, cut four rectangular pieces from the metallic gold fabric and glue creases at the top, middle, and bottom. Now glue the curtain, the curtain rod, and the valance to the wall. Next, I'm going to make the wall decor, console table, and accessories. First, let's cut two, two and a half by six inch pieces of foam board. Apply glue to tiny rocks that I found at the Dollar Tree. Then we'll cover it with another coat of Mod Podge to make sure that the rocks stay in place. Then paint it with gold metallic paint and set it aside to dry. Next, I'm going to glue this clear bowl I got from a perfume bottle to a round piece that was made from my silicone mold and a hot glue gun. I found these earrings at the Dollar Tree. Let's make a tray by gluing it to a circular wood piece I got from Michaels and then paint it gold. Now for the console table, Let's glue two of the two by six inch pieces of foam board together. Glue the edges of the foam board to poster board, then cut four wooden dowels 
and glue them to the foam board. We're gonna measure and cut smaller pieces to fit between the table legs to give them stability. I painted the table legs gold and added rhinestones to the table edges. Here is a design I made from my hot glue gun and a silicone mold to add to the accent wall. I painted beads, a horse, and other accessories to place on the console table. Now, let's decorate the side walls. I took the rock decor we painted gold and cut a clear tray in half, then glued some moss inside of the tray. I glued the tray to the foam board as well as green garland on the side of the foam board and then glued it on the wall. I also found small clear cups at the Dollar Tree. I cut them in half, applied rhinestones, and glued them to the wall to use as lights. Let's add some plants, a rug, and a few chairs. And look, our miniature glam room is complete. Thanks for being a part of our Glamour Island family. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.